On the table after almost three years of not being on, Minions are back! Lego Minions, The Rise of Gru! Set number 75551, Brick Built Minions and Their Lair, 876 pieces with Bob Stewart and Kevin. And on the back of the box, what we are building. Building minions inside of minions. We have giant Kevin and giant Stuart. And up here it says we can rebuild Kevin into Bob if we like Bob. You may recall we featured many of the minions from Mega Bloks Mega Constructs over the years, years and years ago. So it'll be interesting to see how Lego evolves the minion. Inside the box, instruction booklet number one. Instruction booklet number two. Rebuild Kevin into Bob in there. Bag one, and another bag of one. Bag two, and another bag of two. With one more bag of two. And a lot of fine detailed stickers. Well, let's begin the construction of the brick built minions. So we're gonna try something different today. I'm going to add in my commentary on the build. First thing you'll notice, there are a lot of pieces going on for each minion build. About two bags full of extra bags are building. Oh, there's the minifigure of Stuart looking good. And here we go. We're gonna start off with the uh, lower um, overalls, I would say. Kind of the base of the structure. And it's kind of fun how the layering of these go uh, as you move along. Here's a bed, a pull-out bed for Stuart. This must be his bedroom. Now we're building some speakers. Now this will get kind of repetitive here. This is the lower part of the opening uh, back wall of the minion there. And you're going to do that a lot in the build of this. So here we go, building some interesting technical pieces to Stuart. Closing them up. As we go, there's the mouthpiece. Those are really cool looking on them. A lot of fine detail, a lot of small pieces with this build. This is a great puzzle set for puzzle people. And then more layering of yellow on top of the blue there, and the black will come in here now, which looks really cool. Very sharp there. And a dial for the eye. Now you'll see at first I have the eye center and then I have it off center. They want it off center. But you can kind of place it where you want. And you can rotate that eye. I think that's pretty neat. And a bunch of personal items for Stuart's room. And this is a part that I think up on top here for his head looks great. Lego does a great job with the little details, of course, and that's the hair going along the top. And the arms. I thought the gloves would be, be kind of hard, but they turned out a lot of fun. It was a welcome break to the body, and then now the feet. There we go. Stuart's done. Put them inside and spin them away. Okay, bag two. And again, this is like bag four, five, six, seven, and eight all together. There's a ton of pieces in here and it just fills the table. And we'll build our minifigures of Kevin and Bob now. I like the little tuft of hair on top of Kevin there. And rep repetition. This is the um, same lower part of the pants that we did on Stuart now working with Kevin. And if we did build Bob, I think I'll pass on building Bob today but if we did build Bob it's going to be very similar only different room effects and heights and here's this door again and you'll see that I'm getting a little tired of the door and so I kind of mess up the second build of the second door here if you can notice I messed that up some more technical pieces added Right there, do you notice the gap? The lower gap, whoops, and I keep going. I don't know what I'm doing, la la la. And I'm like, wait a second, something doesn't seem right here. So I trying to figure out, oh, how do I do this the easiest way? Real simple fix, just flipped over and added pieces. But at this stage of the build, I was getting pretty tired, um, pretty winded. 
There's a lot of stickers for, these are either screens or they're blueprints on the back wall of Kevin's room and they look really cool. I think Kevin is my favorite out of the minions so I enjoyed this build. But right about here I was definitely getting tired and there was even a moment here where I'm like I can't find the piece and it was, um, you can't really see it, it's those one by two rounded corner pieces and I'm looking and looking and there it is I found it Woo! yay and two of them both of them they're like completely invisible all that yellow I guess so we're building higher up on Kevin and adding in the black goggle strap again the black is so sharp on these looks great and opening up adding some red pieces that was a little weird how they wanted you to do that move the camera up a little bit to fit Kevin he's much taller love all the items in his room he's got a banana and a wrench here's Kevin's eyes and goggles and I did mess those goggles up you'll notice in a second did I put his name upside down I'm gonna look at that closer um, doing the head again pretty much the same as the first see I forgot to put the extra discs around the eyes or circles and then got to the hands again which were fun I like the hands they're welcome you know you're getting close when you're doing hands and feet and you'll notice lots of extra pieces. Those are Bob's, mostly for room effects. And I think I'll just pass. We'll look at a little couple pictures of Bob too. And together, the brick build minions and their lab. Very bright and yellow. Well, let's check on those minifigures first. They are of Lego minifigure style, all right, even though quite different from a regular minifigure. Mostly a simple torso with a headpiece that you can pop on and off. The goggles are already placed on. You just place on the eyes. And we've got these Lego-like minifigure arms to place on, and of course little feet on the bottom. They are solid in there, but they will hold on to any stud. Pretty good design form, pretty simplistic. I think it's working pretty well. So there's Stuart in his pajamas. Bob, I think Bob is doing some kung fu in his lab. And of course Kevin looks great because he's in your classic minion uniform. You may have spotted several Mega Constructs minions during the build. They were a little more complicated. Mega Constructs treats their figures a little more like tiny action figures. Really enjoyed collecting those over the years. They actually had removable goggles, which always worried me a little bit in long term. Will those bands hold up? And so far they're still holding up. I think somewhere in those reviews I even mocked those bands saying they wouldn't make it past 2017 or something very weird like that, maybe 2023. But there was just a little more detail with these, even the coveralls I think are removable. And these arms I remember were so tricky to place on, you really had to squeeze them on. But it's just a style preference. Oh look at there, Kevin's almost the exact same size. I keep thinking that the Lego are much smaller, but it must just be the fact that their overalls are painted on and the goggles are just in there too. Really good work with these minifigures. I like these, I'd like to see a few more. Okay, back to the main features, the giant minion and their labs inside. So obviously these themselves can be used as a figure. We've got arms that can move about, fingers that can move about, the feet can kind of turn a little bit and their eyes will spin, well, once you open up the lab, but you can totally play these as a giant minion figure, which is great. They look really good, except for maybe all these holes going down the side, but that's just Lego. Oh, sorry, Kevin. So opening up, we've got the little handles on the back, and we can open up to their rooms. Kevin has got a science station, workstation lab, and Stuart over here has a bedroom pull-out bed, of course. There they are. These sets are so intricate, and I'm kind of shocked by the price point. Only $50 for all of this fine detail. I would have assumed with the LEGO Minions license it would have been more like $60, so good on that. There is so much fine detail. Again, if you're a puzzle builder, I think these are really fun. Kevin's room is my favorite. He's got all sorts of construction materials, blueprints on his wall, a little workbench, and up here, oh, I did get his name up right. Turn this dial, and this is what will move his eyes. A very seamless gear remove too from LEGO as always. Inside Stuart's bedroom we've got a bunch of personal effects. Sorry Stuart, he's got a boomerang, he's got a spear, posters, stereo, with a split down bed. You can place them inside for display. Just a fantastic looking build. And we rotate and we can see his eye move about. This is so great. I love again the hair, the way they layered the hair on top. So with Kevin, you can actually rebuild into Bob, and I think I'm going to be too lazy to do that today. But Kevin, you look weird. Let's check out Bob on the instructions real quick. 
There we have Bob up front, a little bit shorter with double eyes, just like Kevin. So very similar build, just a little bit shorter. Inside Bob, he has a kung fu room with all sorts of weapons and all sorts of breakable items. That's perfect. But I didn't want to break apart Kevin to build Bob because I would rather have Kevin built. I guess I should have built Bob first, then broke him apart and built Kevin, if that makes any sense. Other minion sets available. We have an interesting construction site above with a banana slide or something going on. I might really look out for this plane. It reminds me of one of my most favorite LEGO City plane sets from years and years ago. And then Gru's bike. This might be one time where Mega Constructs actually triumphs way over LEGO. That bike just looks really basic. So a few good minion sets. I know a few of these have been delayed until later in summer, and I think they're already back-ordered on legoshop.com, but I'm sure we'll start seeing these filter here and there through the stores as the summer goes. Both these brick-built minions are quite a bit of fun, but I think LEGO missed a better opportunity. I think they should have single-packed Kevin, Stewart, and Bob, so that way you could have all three. Or what they could have done is throw one more minion design in the brick-built minion pack, so there would be four to choose from, and then if you bought two of these, you would have all four. Three is kind of the odd number out. I suppose, of course, if you are a true LEGO master builder, pick up another brick-built minion pack and then build your own custom minion. Then you would have all three on the table plus your own. LEGO Minions, the rise of Gru, brick-built minions and their lairs arrive on store shelves April 27th, 2020, with a few more sets delayed till summer. If you're a big fan of Minions, LEGO now has their blueprints. These sets were really playful, intricate fun, and will brighten any toy shelf. Just make sure to have a Minion Squirrel around too. That's what I have to say about that.